Hi folks, it's Tuesday, and you know what that is. This is your friendly it's neighborhood dungeon master, It's pizza day. It's Woo! pizza day. It's pizza day. It's pizza day. It's pizza day. It's we had to feed the dragon lady ahead of time so she didn't need us. Yes. It's pizza time. <laughs> we, we didn't want that coming over in the game. <laughs> this is your friendly neighborhood dungeon master, Mr. John. And our uh, friends are here yet again. And hooray. here we go again. Let's introduce... Hi, I'm Ethan. I'm still playing Sean. I'm not sure what you expected. <laughs> it won't change. I'm, I'm still playing Sean. I'm now still Sean. Oh, that's, well, your that's new, nice to know. That's your new name uh, now. Yeah. Yeah. Is now. So 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 still in front. All right, Brandon's up to bat. Uh, we got Pharaohs in the house, uh, trying to you know help everyone uh, live a, a better life so they don't mess up and accidentally kill their boards. Again. What's up guys, Josh here. I am still playing Zeal the Chrono Keeper. Dealing with that wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Hey guys, Lucas, still playing Ooh the Bard. I'm Patrick, I'm still playing a mana deal. Eam, cleric. Hey guys, it's Travis here, still playing Ra Ra Boudrance, uh, mm -hmm. Dragonborn. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Reed, I'm playing Umi Bozu still, the uh, Yokai Bard. What's up, guys? Dragon Lady here, Brian McCowley, <laughs> the half elf uh, dragon monk. I feel like half elf is no longer, you're just dragon now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the form I take when I'm not in a, a dragon. Well, she's not trying to kill everybody. Yeah. Or eat everything. That's okay. Or both. Or both. <laughs> I have control, kind of. The balcony is still being fixed. The balcony is still being fixed. Okay, well, the last time where we left our heroes was... Oh, we were in the, uh, we were in the survivor's camp from the, uh, dwarves. We so we were time. trying to get information from a child when a large, uh, spider decided to try and rip out its dead body that was right beside us. We all... Proceeded to mortify it, and then uh, as we were doing it, our friendly neighborhood microwave decided to crack it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that guy. My uh, my warranty ran out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to purchase an extended warranty? Yeah. Yeah. You just hear. And we're here to talk to you about your extended car warranty. Please make a Constitution roll, please. Not you. Uh, <laughs> me? Yeah, you. Okay, you want constitution? Yes, sir. Just base roll or uh, save? Base roll, please. Ah, 21. Ooh. Good stuff. It was better than ice for you. <laughs> I, actually, you can ask Brandon, it hit the one. It was about to hit the one and then rolled to a 19. <laughs> okay. You managed to reboot. <laughs> what did I miss? Too much. It's been 20 years, bro. Don't mess with him. He's snapping a my portal. beard. Is that real? I mean, I can go back in 20 years and I mean... Yeah. What, what I miss, I, I don't know why I power it down. We fried mm -hmm. some spider. I fried some. Are you scared of spiders? No, no. Oh, well. There's not much that scares me once you've seen the fabric of space and reality, so, you know, there's that. Oh. Good job on the spider, guys. Well, thank you. Um, <laughs> you would do that to me. Of course. Fifteen. I'm rocking the dice better today. Yeah. As you all recall, last last session I couldn't roll to save my life. Literally. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, quite literally. Quite literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> you feel something that's in your ear, but you don't pay enough attention to it. Uh, so Zeal is still looking snap, he snaps and makes it disappear and he just looks around like, what do we do now? Oh, I think you know, he's gathered enough information. You notice the majority of the dwarves there will just, we need to get back home. So can you assist us <coughs> with going back to our kingdom? We're happy to, but with the amount of your kingdom that's been taken over, I don't know how safe it is for the women and children to be traveling there. We're dwarves. We are a warrior stock. We are a warrior people. That's 
Let's do it. Well, I agree. And I mean no offense. Absolutely not. No offense. But, if you're a warrior stock, you are still driven away. In your homeland full of your people. I do not, I'm not saying this is a negative, but it's already proven that you have failed once. But now they have us. If you are bringing warriors, don't bring the young, don't bring those that can't help. You have to consider taking care of your race and keeping it going. You don't want your kids to die. You well, have maybe, to have women. maybe you shouldn't just bring back warriors. I understand you want your women and children to come home eventually too, but what's the point in fleeing a place only to come back and you haven't had any substantial change? Do you really have any artificers among you that you know of? We have plenty. You need a weapon. And a big one. We know now that the Drow are now going underground, <laughs> seeking everything that is indeed magical and gold at the same time. But the problem is our great forges are in our homes. Mm. We cannot just build something here in the capital. How much time would it take to build? Years. That's not going to be helpful. Do you have... You can clear a path, but if it's going to take you that long, it's not practical. Do you have perhaps maybe a forge or two that's out of the way, somewhere farther from the battle, maybe? We could post up and defend and give your people an opportunity to start the forge back up and equip yourself there while we protect it. This way, you can forge up and then join us in the fight. How hot does your forge have to burn as well? Mm. We've never tried or even to test anything that could burn magic. Hmm. That these are too hot for me. <laughs> Wait, it specifically has to be hot enough to burn magic? Well, of course. The only thing in which could actually mimic this is the engines of your... That's what I was thinking. Could you use the engines of our ship to create this weapon? I believe we can. Oh, let's, let's talk to you guys. That. that would be our next best thing. <laughs> Tip of advice, don't be racially discriminatory against Drow. He doesn't like his mom. You can eat spies as much as you like, though. It's coming quite handy for me. <laughs> Except for that hole. We weren't, we weren't there for that. We didn't know where that was. Well, someone needed to point that out. <laughs> you get to the ship. <clears throat> Darius. Darius is brooding as ever. Mm. What's up, buddy? What you see before you is an uncensored look at his mother. Mm. Let me paint you the description. Oh, I was not ready for that. <laughs> so let me paint for you the description. <laughs> Big, giant, black widow. Okay. okay. Drove face, eight eyes, with a mouth, or shall I say a maw, uh -huh. of a thousand fangs. Extended. <laughs> As I walk up, I look to the picture and say, God, you're ugly. Ugh. Yeah, says Darius. She is. Mm. Yeah. Your dad must have been so drunk. No, dad was eaten. That's fair. It's a weird way to reproduce. Okay. So, why so are you uh, gazing upon this uh, lovely? Figure. Like moving around? No. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find new and interesting ways to kill it. Have you well, what's, what's way one? How many ways have you tried? Have you thought about killing it with fire? <laughs> have you thought oh, about killing it? <laughs> For some reason, I feel like that is way one. Have you thought about the drowning? A large shoe. I don't that think would, many people think of drowning things. That was probably the only thing that was water. Spiders. 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 Spiders.
Somebody yeah. make for me a wisdom check. <laughs> Eight. Seventeen. Eleven. <clears throat> wisdom. Don't worry, I'll try. Twenty-three. Twenty-one. Nat twenty. Nine. Nice. <laughs> Oh, she rolled a 21. 22, actually. Oh, 22. So, to you, you have this creepy feeling. You're being watched. Mm -hmm. I'm being watched. Uh, can I make a perception check? See if I recognize where it's from. That is a 15. It's from outside. I, I made one, too, and that's a modified 20. It is definitely from outside. <laughs> oh, outside or we're on Darius' ship. I think oh, yeah. So I'm going to uh, the barrier is not over the shield, is it? No, or the ship. So Zeal is going to float to the top of the mast Thanks, and actually Jeff. and uh, do a nice size. Uh, Stealth check to sneak off the ship. Okay. Well, that didn't do too good. Mm -hmm. uh, nine. <laughs> All you gathered was somebody was there, but somebody was definitely faster than you. On the ship or the outside ship. of it? Or outside, outside of it. like on the pier. Mm -hmm. uh, can I use ranger tracking to try to find out where they went? Well, we're only inside. three of us were aware. Only, yeah. Yeah. If it becomes aware. I, I like, lean over to Ra Ra and I, uh, Zeal leans over to Ra Ra. <clears throat> Somebody else was here. You're a ranger, right? Of course. Go, go, go. See what you can find. Drink, you want some coffee? Ranger tracking? <clears throat> Why not? Yeah, yeah, I'm drinking coffee. Yeah, it's just, it's just, All right. Oh, well, some 14. Just spike in a little bit. All you notice is very large cat's paw. Can I make an investigation check on that? Go ahead. Uh, Nat 20. Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's a big ass cat's paw. There you go. There seems to be a rather big pussy on this <laughs> ship. Kim. Zeal instantly looks at Mikhail. That is no way to speak about her. There's two women. Wow, that is very rude to speak There's two. Or is a girl. Does that get blown up? I do not have that big of feet. <laughs> Wait. You're not speaking of that. Uh... In the other voice, I can call a couple of... <laughs> anyway. So, Darius. Darius. Yes. Uh, I don't okay. know what else is going on. Um... <laughs> The dwarves. Are and we need your engine. Yeah. What do you want my engines for? It's the only thing that's hot enough to forge. To forge. Magic. I magic suggested weapon. to them that their best shot, instead of just returning as warriors and this whole honor system and getting immediately slaughtered, <laughs> is to return with a weapon and a big one. Problem is, they said that their forges are on their homeland, and the only thing that would burn hot enough here to handle a forge fire would be the ship's engines. You just need to use your engine room as a blacksmith shop for a little bit. Pretty much. Okay. Oh, All right. That, that was easy. All right, guys, come on in. Okay, you see this merry band of dwarven engineers. Dwarven. Please tell me they're singing. <laughs> they have to yes! Home. I just want the Seven Dwarves song, that's all I want. I ho! Yes! Oh, hey, hey, can I actually make a song? I ho! No, I like that one. Hey, I like that song. Or we do a diggy diggy hole, huh? Diggy diggy hole. So. Is this copyrighted? No. Okay. It's, it's, I was about uh, to say. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, Music. Uh, we do not music. want to get sued. Uh, we do not, not own any uh, music, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As they walk by, I say, say carry on my wayward sons. If you do not hear the song, we cut it out. Uh, no, it's, no. it's Iron Man by uh, 
Oh, yeah. What yeah, that? No, that, that, that song yeah, was actually that. one somebody wrote that. I don't remember that. So put it out there. <laughs> now, you um, notice also what they're carrying is large bars of adamantine and mineral. Ooh. Ooh. Zeal, Zeal looks at the head engineer. I do not see any Udu. If I'm not mistaken, Udu is the strongest material you guys have. It is what forged the hammer Mjolnir. Probably don't have any here. That's wrong because not all doors have new Udu. They're the ones who created it and founded it. Well, the problem was with that metal, there's not enough of it. So therefore, we're trying to experiment with adamantine and mithril mixed together. You need help carrying things? So almost like a synthetic Udu. Yes. Um, can I roll for Arcane real quick? Yes, you may. Um, 23. I would like to help the head engineer come up with a magical way to synthesize Uru out of what they have. This is interesting. The dwarves look at you go. He's pretty smart. I look at the dwarves. Do you know of Mechanus? It's a world constructed of nothing but metal. There's not a metal I don't know. Interesting. He kind of lifts his he kind of lifts his uh, cloak to show the the dwarf his body underneath. And when you are made of metal, you tend to need to know how to repair yourself. My name is Elchiri. I am Zeal. I am the Chronomancer. We only accept and forgive this phrase. We don't accept non-dwarven assistance in the creation of our metals. What if I made you a look-alike? I beg your pardon. I would like to cast Unseen Servant. Okay. Oh. On that's Zeal it. or on yourself? Uh, unseen Servant in general. Unseen Servant. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the... Uh, 18. Yeah, so it's 18 for the cast, but so now I have created a look-alike dwarf. Uh, it's a, a mindless, shapeless form. Well, it's a, I put it in the shape of a dwarf, and it performs simple tasks as I command it to do until the spell ends, and it lasts um, an hour. Okay. So the I, dwarves are like. I look at I look at uh, Umi. Maybe I can teach the dwarf what I know, and then he can take it with them. Therefore, we're not insulting them by no dwarves, and you're learning how to make synthesized Uru. Hmm, true. Let's go to work at this. I try to persuade them, too. This is a very good idea. Trust me, I know good ideas. Look at my armor. I, uh... <laughs> Zeal looks at you, see, you just see my couch. <sighs> Zeal looks at Are you still happy? No. Okay. Don't no. <laughs> Zeal looks at me. Would, is your servant able to learn? He is not. He is a mindless and does exactly what I tell him to do. So most politicians. <laughs> if you okay. wish to put it Bumps. that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know thaumaturgy? <laughs> no. no. Use thaumaturgy to speak for the dwarf and use your words. So I could tell you what to say and you could then tell them what to do. Ha ha! Good, I, I, I trust that the dwarves can make whatever we need. Yes, sir. Yeah. They immediately go to work. They bring in anvils and hammers. And Do I know what the dwarven symbol looks like? Like, their country symbol. Okay, imagine an anvil. Mm -hmm. Okay. With an elevated hammer over it. <laughs> Hooray! And that's it. Okay. Oh, on, on the floor, like where they're all working to make them feel more at home, I use precipitation to make a giant symbol of that on the ground floor. Thank you kindly. It's been a long time since we actually seen the symbol of our nation. I go up to the lead dwarf and I ask him, could you make me possibly a suit of armor while you're at it? And then I hand him 10,000 gold. To take That's care a of your way to That's a ask a question. This is just a way to donate to your people to help them. Oh, of course. Right. All right. 
What did you say the head engineer's name was? Illiteria. Illiteria, Illiteria the rich. So that's his Zeal name. Kind of, Zeal kind of pulls Illiteria aside and um, they say he, looks at the, he looks at him and he says, I'm in need of some new parts. Some of the parts that I have are in me, including my hierojopiskire in my chest, is, is rusted and old. I, if it goes out, that's... So, by the way, no one but the... Sorry, I should have said No one but the dwarf is hearing this. He, he tells him, he says, he says, that's why, that is why I shut down during the battle. He pulls out, Zeal slowly pulls his chest open, and all of a sudden it's like... And he pulls it out, and it's like a bright blue crystal wrapped in, like, time vortex. And without this, I will die. I'm not familiar with this technology, but I can see what we can do. Can I try to sneak a look at it? Can I try and sneak and see if I can see it? Just, I want to see it. I want to see it. Roll perception check. Yes! Eleven! You see this barely faint blue glow. Is it about like that? No, that's I don't see a size. Yeah. So can yeah. I add something oh, to that? Oh, show over there. So can, am, am I allowed to add something to that, John? Because sure. so what you're looking at, or what what you glimpse, what you, can see, yeah. you actually glimpse your death and when it happened because this is time and pure energy, pure time, space, power, sweet. That is that. That is him alive. What exactly did I see? Yeah. So <laughs> no, you don't really get a full uh, description. What you see, see what you see, uh, yeah, you get more of a feeling, you get more of like a, a chill around your spine. All you see is an axe, an axe fall out of your hand and shat and it shatters along with a shoulder pad Remember the death still from Rick and Roy? Ah. Yeah. But, but, but Zeal puts it back in his chest and closes his chest. Uh, I'd like to ask the then how much would it cost to get mithril studded leather along with a mithril rapier? Yeah. I can't change my arm. That's I don't need cost it. a lot, my friend. Ah. Can't do anything. I'm poor. Pure mithril. <laughs> Paying in bars. He's like, yeah. like, he's just like, just, just pulling just pull it all out. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, like stacks of bars. Like, little Cheery says, Boys! Get to work! We've got customers! Come on! For the rush job, I give him an extra 5000 So, to finish up. He's like, <laughs> To finish up what I was saying to the Little Cheery and right now, half of half the dwarven foundry is just orgasmic at seeing all this gold right now. Hey, this is this is a lot of food. They can pay for a lot of food and a lot of blankets. This can take care of people a lot of money. Zeal pulls his book out and opens it, and he it doesn't rip. He almost like pulls a page out and hands it to Elteri and explains exactly how to manifest his life source and how to create it. Now Magnus walks in. Uh, should I make no a charity. constitution saving throw? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Who? <Sure>. No. <laughs> and I don't get a headache. <laughs> yeah, I don't get a headache when he walks in. Do I like? Do I like wings start discharging again? Are your wings out? Maybe. Kind of. Oh, okay. <laughs> Foot human uh, paladin carrying a war hammer. Yes, he is. <laughs> Trying to be summoned by some old tear. That's what it says. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I get a heading again for him walking in? <laughs> well, he fixed it last time. He tapped him on the head. Yeah, he fixed it. He fixed it. Constitution? Yep. 13? No. Cool. I would like to. Uh, <laughs> You are right headed. I you, must, you must be dehydrated. I stick my hand in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Drink it! I don't know where the uh, I try to like slap it, but my arm just goes like straight through and I'm just like. Zeal looks at him right. and Zeal looks at him. Zeal water. 
I re remembered that after I did it. <laughs> that was rude. I think it's very rude. What well, you did was even ruder. I only tried to help. Here, I hold up. Yeah, I can't see it. I have two dragons in that group. Full on hand in there. Thank you. I drink it. It tastes like me so sweet. Oh my god, you? this is delicious. <laughs> And I show them like my wooden quarter staff, which I've been carrying around since the beginning of this game. Yeah, you have. For no <laughs> reason. Power public step. Yeah. I kind of like hold it out Sorry. to them. And I was like, I've had an idea for a while now, and I don't take this as an insult, but would you be able to make something like this only metal? I'm taking the shot! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game, I should have took the shot. Right. Only metal. And shot. when I throw it out, it extends outwards, so I'm not carrying this pole everywhere. <laughs> so you want a fighting pike? I'll take that, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have plans now. Okay, question myself actually. Could you uh, upgrade this? I just set my bow. I just hold my bow out. <laughs> what is that? A bow! That's For elf mice? <laughs> That's an elf thing. Ah, you're right. Are there any elves around? Mm. There is. Yes, Besides the drow. <laughs> There's an elvish, um... What about a... Mikhail's right there. <laughs> I'm a half-elf and I'm a dragon, thank you very much. Zeal looks but he said any elf. Zeal looks at Rara. Ra. I believe you need a Fletcher for that, Ra, Ra. And there's probably one that you know that. Tell you what. <laughs> Make a dwarven one. Yeah. Crossboy. That's the idea. Uh, I like this guy. A dwarven bow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. As long as it fires arrows. It's a crossover, it's a Gatling gun, you just turn it. Well, Sean, you want anything? <laughs> we were working on that until the invasion. It's anyway. a Gatling gun, but instead of shooting arrows, it shoots knives. <laughs> it's a gun that shoots swords. Okay. Magnus looks at the engine, looks at his hammer, Elturi looks at Magnus. Do it. Jams his hammer oh, into it. Skin. Everybody oh. hold on to something. <laughs> or me. I just sit on the ground. Or, or me. I just kind of take my fingers. Everybody makes a strength check because I'm going to. Woo! That's 20. 18. Four. <laughs> 17. Oh. Oof. Four. <laughs> also, uh, also a four. Yeah, I was say, I can oh, to grab onto him also. What is it? Dex. Also next, nat 20. 20. I also. <laughs> so. Thank you. I we also got five. four. No, actually, no. Four. actually, no. Zeal is flung off the ship. I rolled a one and I have a negative one. Uh, acrobatics <laughs> check to actually catch him. I was gonna say, when I got caught, can I use my whip to attempt to grab his leg? 22. Yeah. Oh, he got so, it. 22 to catch him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Whip, you're not going anywhere. No, yeah, whip to grab the hack. Pull the hack. To hit, uh, 11. Blah! <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 then run on to Magnus as something to hold on to. <laughs> I, look at, I look at Ra Ra. I'm like, ah! Ra Ra. Ra. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. I didn't move all that. I got to Magnus and just like. Please excuse him. I'm just gonna just lay on the floor. I'm just kind of like pet Therax's head. I got one of the tornadoes on the street. Boy, I just didn't want to fall down. I understand. What? Oh, trust me, you have no idea. You, okay, he supercharged the engine. Thank you, Magnus. Okay. And now the dwarves are going to work. Hi ho, hi ho. I hold, I hold, I hold. Well, I guess we're going to relax in here for a little bit. Yeah. As I give them my sizes, I kind of notice that my waist has gone up a little bit, so now I'm going to be going on a diet. Uh, Somebody give me also a wisdom check. Five, 14. 17. Nat's fine with a, so 22. 22. 10. 
Mikhail, yeah. I ain't no shit. Once, once you're done with this. Uh, 20. You feel, still feel like somebody's watching you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go hunting. Actually, no, I would like to use a spell. I'm guessing you said that somebody is following us, right? Mm -hmm. We feel like somebody is following us? Watching us. We've not left. We've been stationary. I would like to cast a level 2 spell called Detect Thoughts. Okay. Stay out of my head. For the duration, you can read the thoughts of certain creatures. When you cast a spell and as your action on each turn until the spell ends, you can focus your mind on any one creature that you can see within 30 feet of you. Roll. Well, you have to be able to see them if they're watching us. Well, then I will roll for perception first to see if I can see anybody, like, out of, out of place, mm -hmm. as it were. Uh, let's see here. Perception. Come on, come on, come on. Ten. You don't see them, but you hear this. Ah, uh, go ahead. I was gonna. Oh, I see. We're gonna go up to Therax. Make that offer that we yeah, talked yeah, about. Yeah, make that offer we've talked about. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Therax, I'm drinking my coffee. Yes. How are we, young man? We're doing pretty good. Um, hopefully, we're gonna make your day better. Yeah. I have, um, an, I have an offer for you. I know you've been trying to get a lot of evil influences out of your life. Thank you. I could perform yes. a ritual. That will take all good and evil influences out of your body, or you get to make the decision on who you are. Yes. We would be I can only hold them out temporarily. Once you make that choice, all they will do is solidify your decision. But it allows you the opportunity to be yourself. Who you truly want to be takes away all pressures. How up to and including take? myself. How long will this ritual take? About an hour. And it can be incredibly painful. Do we need privacy? We'll probably yeah. want it. We would we would want it so that way there's no outside interference with the ritual. Well, and then dwarves already have our measurements, right? Yeah. Alright. So they went to jail. In that case, my armor should be sitting there this way that you get the measurements. Alright. Uh, yes, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Darius, do you have where we can. A room we can borrow? I'll show you my ritual chamber. Come on in. Alright. All right. Okay, you go inside of this ritual chamber. It is beautifully ornate in silver and black velvet. And of course, there is a statue of a nude droll woman carrying a silver sword. And as you turn to there, I actually notice amazingly fast, he is already nude himself. <laughs> Well, all right. right, that wasn't necessary, but oh, I respect uh, the decision. That's minor fine. illusion to well, make him right. clothed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you guys from Greece? Wouldn't you guys like not care about that? I don't like, care at all. Yeah. I'm just saying it's not necessary. I just don't like it. I was just saying, but aren't you guys like from Greece? <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean I have to like it. There's still a little bit left from when Magnus walked in the room too, so he gets like, well, mm -hmm. yeah. um, sorry, I didn't mean to put no. that at you guys. No big deal. All right. I feel like that is a little distraught. Alright. Ah, so. Um, I'm going to set up the ritual stuff. So as, we set up. as we're setting it up, we're going to close it, make a seal of keys <coughs> on there with press digitation to. Okay. Heavy duty magics are now in front of Darius's ritual chamber. And all of a sudden, Magnus goes. Interesting. I'm cleansing myself. Alright. You got calm emotions? Mm -hmm. This is gonna hurt him a lot. It will. I take a big swig of the Oni. Ah, miso soup. Good to perform? Yep. Keep these out. Eat those salt. And I'm going to cast it. That's why I like it. Do it. Okay. Kind of what am I rolling on? You are rolling on wisdom. I was waiting for that one. 17. You got it. <clears throat> and to make sure that this tries to go as well as possible without him going crazy, I'm going to cast Calm Emotions to keep him from going crazy. That's yeah. alright, I've already gone crazy once. Well, we're trying to avoid being on the receiving end of it. Mm. That one. Oh! Oh no. Snap. Well, 
It's a good thing he's still there, because if he does go crazy, there's two of us. <laughs> yeah, you want you want to try shaking me out and messing that up? <laughs> uh, I don't know how he, I don't think he can do it. You're going to have to. No, like, telling me it's not working, go. Do it again. All right, I'm going to use my last, I'm going to use another spell slot. I said, okay. One more after this. 18. That, that works. Or 20. I mean, that works. There we go. You're having a nice time with this. I am now. Yes. I thought they thought said this was gonna hurt. Alright. Uh, it, it hurts, it's just you can't you're calm, Johnny. I'm gonna go hunt. While they're doing the ritual, I wanna go see if I can do a little bit more tracking on the footprint that I found right there. I'm gonna go with him. I'm going as well. They wanna know where the big cat is. I would actually like to go down and watch the ritual. I just want to continue in. He worked I mean, walked in. It is it is sealed where they're from. Uh, okay. You can see it from the outside. Where it's it's you can see that's what I'm saying. I just want to go watch. watch. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead. I'd like to join them. Expedition. Uh, that might be low. 14. We're going to need your help. To <laughs> yeah. figure out where the tracks are. Do be. something. <laughs> Man, yeah, was was nice key cap paw prints. Going one way. It's heading this way. One end of yeah. one end of the craft, and so another set of normal footprints. Doing this is this a creature that I have seen before? No. I would like to. Well, let's see. So it's going that way and it's going this way, correct? Mm -hmm. It almost looks like a circle. In. Okay. Um, can I roll for perception to kind of check the room out? Mm -hmm. oh, that's gross. Uh, five. Okay, you have to notice there's a lot of drove. This one individual is very different. You've seen everybody else in the entourage, including everybody else here, but you notice this one drove just sitting there, having a scimitar in hand like this, legs crossed. Put it in. How long have you been here? Long enough. And all of a sudden, here comes this big panther. Sits right in front of him. I think we found a big cat. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. But a panther of all things. You're definitely not from here. No. Yeah. Yeah. May I ask why you've been around the ship? I have my reasons. Are you uh, protecting this ship? Let's just say I'm here to meet somebody that I always wanted to meet. Oh no, not again. And who is that? <clears throat> is Mr. Darius Lofay here? That is a yes, but what yes. business do you have with him? He's very busy. <laughs> Oh, he's locked in the chamber with us. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be for like an hour. Yeah. Let's just say I want to talk to him. Well, you're currently going to have to wait. He's currently... Indisposed. Yes. For dwarven reasons. <laughs> Two centaurs. I'll wait. you give me a watch up for a minute? I'm going to go let down and see what's going on. Of course. Thank you. I leave those two, and I'm walking over to the chamber. I'll okay. I'll stay too okay. Meanwhile in the chamber. In uh, the chamber. Uh, <laughs> uh, dang it. This in the chamber secret. hurts a little. Luckily I'm feeling pretty calm. Mm. Mm. Describe what's going on. You're it open. is literally pulling every influence you've ever had in your life. Of good and evil, specifically. Anything that's influenced you one way or another. 
and it is pulling them completely away, leaving only who you are as an individual. Your beliefs, your what you stand for, everything else is being stripped away. The influences of your parents, of your siblings, of your kingdom, of your friends, your enemies, everyone in between those you've been affiliated with in a romantic sense and otherwise. Everything is being pulled out of your your train of thought and your personality, and I'm you get to up choose. And seeing these ghost images of my memories and of my you're seeing my being pulled out of which hurts. Squire above me, Ever. my two retainers along with Squire. Yeah, even the maple syrup. And you're being given yes, the opportunity. A bottle of maple syrup floats above my head. <laughs> hey. Multiple maple syrups. Hey. Hey. And you're being given a choice. That's nice, eh? <clears throat> it's, it's a triple forked path. And you get to choose the direction you want to go. To the right, you're going to be following your good influences and your good traits. In the middle, you're staying completely neutral. Staying completely out of any decision making. And to the left, you're choosing evil. You're choosing, the f you're choosing to follow your darkest influences and uh, personality traits. Yeah. And you're being given the choice. And the spell, uh, what does the spell allow me to do? You, you get to choose You get to choose one. which one. You're, you're stuck in a fork. Yeah. It, good, neutral, and evil. Alright. And it's what do you want out of your life. So, so as I'm looking at these paths, I start to notice that the memories and the uh, ghost images of the people are starting to line up in the different pathways. Yes. Different ones who are have influenced me in different ways throughout so, my life. Yeah, you, it would be so. A lot of your enemies would be on the evil side, along even with even some of my friends. Yes. Yeah. So. So some of the good influences would be a lot of would probably be your kingdom and things. Well, your neutral influences would probably be. Maybe military sir. inquisitions. <coughs> People that you just don't have one uh, an opinion of either way. Yeah. yeah. And maybe sir. No, that one's on the good. That's on the good. Why would it not be on the good? It's part of his kingdom. Maybe sir is good. It's maybe sir is his whole it's kingdom. kingdom. It's quite maybe and maple sir. Everything's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to decide on exactly what's where. And then uh I just wonder yeah. what sound. Yeah. Good. yeah. I might do it too. And then you guys. Uh, okay. okay, one to make sure. Far. So and you'll see him because I know you said I can see. This is all in his head. Okay. You can see the ritual and all you see. So what you're seeing is just like three people. The, yeah, the, the, yeah. I can see. You see him playing the violin. Like, I, I can't see anything. My eyes are closed. I would like oh. to cast. Okay. Intent That's never that good. Okay. Really? Uh, you want to? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think I, I am allowed to read the mind. No, I, I don't believe you. I don't know. If, I don't in, know in this room ritual is. room because of how Darius has set it up. Yeah. I don't know. That's the question for this man. Everyone's that, no, that's what I was saying. Yeah. If I cast detect thought, would I be able to read the minds of everybody that's in the room to see what's going on and how they're doing this? It's going against the uh, probably going against the barrier. Yeah. Yeah. Ping. Yeah. All right. So, so all right. meanwhile, well, can I finish the ritual? No, you want to do yeah. it first. Uh, do I need to we're switching? Okay, do I need to get over to the chamber to knock, mm -hmm. to at least try to get Darius's attention? Oh, yeah, Darius is in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. very, He's very distracted. What, the, what kind of check do I need to make? Dex. Dex? Dex? That's a 14. Darius. Instead of going into thought, all of a sudden he just grabs his rapier, grabs his short sword, mm -hmm. grabs his armor. He knows mm -hmm. who this person is. He's walking out of the airship. He's ignoring yeah. everybody else. I'm following a quick pursuit. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna. I'm actually. Actually, in fact, I'm trying to get ahead of it. Darius is pissed. I'm trying to get ahead of him to go let these two know what's going on, what's happening. So, do I need to roll a dex check to see yeah. if I'm faster? How, how long did you guys take? I am not, not fast enough! Six! We're sitting here. Okay. Doing it. This the door, that, the door that Zeal's sitting in front of with them in the ritual room, how big is it? Is it just like a basic door size? Yeah, it's a basic door size. So Zeal is going to whip around because he watched Darius and Ra Ra like, almost like right past him. He, and uh, he is going to cast what a defensive spell to protect the room for them inside. That way they don't get hurt. In front of him, I'm going to be casting Warding Wind. I create 20 miles an hour wind around me in a 10 foot radius and move with you. Remaining in the center, the wind lasts for the spell's duration, which is 
up to 10 minutes. It defends you and other creatures in its area. It extinguishes unprotected flames in the area and torch sizes are smaller. It's hedged out vapor, gas, and fog that can be dispersed by strong wind. The area is difficult terrain for creatures or others than, other than me. And attack rolls of range going in or coming out take disadvantage. Question. Answer. We're the only two in that room with that guy, right? I'm well, oh, no, Sean is well, they're outside. Sean is outside. there. Well, no, I'm speaking with our new friend. With the panther. Mm -hmm. The new friend with the panther is just waiting. Is he like on the bow of the ship? Tell me, what is your name? You'll see. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Umi Bozu. Tell me, do you like music? I was about to say, I mean, I don't think I've heard you perform in a while. It is the least I could do until we get Darius here. Keep you entertained. And if you'd like, have you ever heard a dragon sing? Don't tell the others about this. I won't. You don't tell the others about this? <laughs> He's stroking his cat. Is he interested? I know. Yeah. He's, He's about as disinterested as anything else. Yeah. And all of a sudden, here comes Darius. What a pleasant guy. He looks at Darius. Guys, 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 guys. I'm screaming at this point. Guys, 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 guys. Guys, guys, guys. We're all going, guys, guys, he knows. Okay. He knows. <laughs> so they're just looking at each other. This is a lot of tension in this room. So Let me praise the song. He gets oh. off. Oh. He's got cool cast for <laughs> person. Charm person. Oh, He's uh, charm person. this is a drow, right? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, drows have magic magic resistance. If you charm your sleep, all oh, elves okay. do. Did not know that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so your charm yeah. just fails instantly. Oh, shit. He just looks at you like. We just have really? to get to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, because of trance. You notice this guy holding two scimitars. His battle cap is just ready. Show off. <laughs> I, I, I tell, I, I kind of, I was my, I was <laughs> my pseudo dragon to go fly up and just fly right in front of the, uh, the way, panther to kind of distract him a little bit. And meanwhile, there's Darius forward. pulling out I don't see anything. Evil world. His eyes are closed, I'm focused on him. Looks like I I'm on him. Oh, he has a yeah, that's it. That, yeah, right? And also that would have closed the door because I'm, I'm casting a second level, so the cat is on both. No, that's what I mean, when, when the cat has closed the door, when, you know, Darius opened it, he... Calm. Well, then we, mm -hmm. then we wouldn't see it. Yeah, we, we I thought it was glass. Okay. No, no, no. no, this guy. It, right. It, it, Darius it, 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 comes up. dark room. It's close and then I see that. Hi, Drist. Who is Another jilted lover? You're with us, yeah. <laughs> and they begin to fight. Yeah, that makes sense. I am going to draw my arrows. Oh, no. Ping, ping, ping. Dude, does Zia yeah, hear the like swords clinging and clacking? Oh and yeah! Play kung fu fighting. Oh, yeah. I, would like to, I would like to rush to where the the fighting's going. Mind you, my wind board is still active. So as I get closer to the group, these twenty mile an hour winds are kicking up around them for ten feet. What? Give me a simple roll of a d twenty. Who me? Yeah, you. All right. Twelve. Son of a bitch, I rolled the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean that we ought to succeed? Here's what's happening. Okay. Oh, all of a sudden you're yeah. in a cocoon, and all of a sudden you begin to change. Uh -oh. You're beginning to transmortify. You're beginning to have unusual things upon your body, and you begin to morph, metamorphosize, and then all of a sudden your voice gets higher. But I start to feel more like myself. Yes. So I feel more comfortable. So inside my mind, I didn't actually walk down that path, but I chose. You chose the it. good one. Okay. So you, whatever you are, you're whatever. Good. So and whatever. A, a little added line. bonus to the to the alignment you know, switch. Was that you know, I was okay? What more tone the person that I wanted to be? So, okay. What is your alignment? So uh, now. Just flat good. 
Well, well, not not neutral good, but could be lawful good or neutral good. Could be chaotic good. He's yeah, kind of yeah. Weren't you chaotic, chaotic evil? I was. No, I was neutral you, evil. Yeah. You can so be you were, good. When you're neutral, neutral good, good now. Right. Hey, okay. you became us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that changes, and the other part changed too. So and now as it gets closer to the end of the ritual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The cocoon starts to break <coughs> open, the light starts to pour, pour out, and instead of uh, the large, bulky therax that was there originally, it's a slightly more slender, feminine form comes out. Okay. So, looks just as strong. I, I can't see it. My but, eyes are <laughs> But, therax <coughs> is changed into a one. Would that be the end of the ritual when that happens? Yes. So you would see it now. Okay. So. Oh. Since when could you change oh. genders? <laughs> Thank you. I can't. I don't think that's no. true. I, that's never happened? How many times have you done this? This would be the third. So then the other two times they did it, that didn't happen. I, I mean, I've never that's done it on a tiefling? Thank you. Well, don't do it on me. Uh, <laughs> Ideas. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, they're nice. are. I feel so much lighter and so much better. Meanwhile, <laughs> group hug. Hey, as I rush up to you, bare naked with a group hug. I'm just putting your hands out. I'm like, oh, I could do one better. And like, we're, we're, we're not at the dragon's rest. No, no. Break the sound barrier. I'm not a velocity to break the sound barrier. I join it. <laughs> okay, do it. 18 on the die. 19. Damn, my eardrums. You do that. Boom! Do we hear this? Are we dead? Yes. <laughs> Should we get going? Ugh, yeah, Jesus, that takes a lot of time. every time. <laughs> I just look at the map like, are you both done? They look at you. No! <laughs> so, right, so we're running. We're headed. We're still still I'm okay. headed over to get my armor, a, which is not going to resize. As, <laughs> high elf, as a high elf, what I know who this particular elf is is if, if he is who I think he is, he is quite legendary amongst the elven elves, elven people. Roll yep. perceptions. Uh, right. elves. Meanwhile, I'm just hanging out with a cat. You said roll perceptions. Oh, it's getting wet. <laughs> 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 it's like, it's like, watch your nose. I love how you two are like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just, I did not agree to this. You just stop with it. You look at, you look at the two men. Fine. <laughs> yeah. And you notice the other man looking at, I mean, fighting um, Darius. And yes, he is who he is. And I yell out, Drizzit do under. Yeah! <laughs> As he's still fighting. I look to the group. This is Drizzit do under. Hi! <laughs> One of the most deadliest, most sneakiest dark elves that ever lived. His, his blades are enchanted weapons. At this point, if one of them touch you, you will freeze. At this point, because I'm annoyed by the fact that they're both fighting, I'm going to try double pin shotting both and, of them. And right now, Darius is now throwing magic missile disintegrator beam. Okay. Uh, uh, deflect missile. I'm just. I'm going to. I'm going to, I'm I'm going going to uh, attempt to do a pin shot. I'm going to try pinning both of them into one s spot so they stop. I'm going to walk over to him and I'm going to use enhance ability and give him an advantage roll on all his dex checks. Okay, roll it. No, it's a it's a touch. It's ability. a natural. Okay. Yeah. So I get oh. to roll twice. Yes. Use the higher. Yeah. So that's a five. Good mm. thing. Mm. Eleven. So will, that would be fourteen on the second roll to try to pin shot one of them. I will actually. And then I'm doing it for both of them, so I got to do it twice. <laughs> Okay, so the, I'm gonna say the first one's the ah, I'm gonna say the first one's the drist to try to pinch drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle, yeah. Yeah, you missed that one. Okay, then the, this one's for Darius. That's probably more dangerous. So good. I see it's advantage, right? Good. Yes. Okay. Good. You have it for one whole day. Jesus! Did help. Well, it doesn't matter. My arrow goes off course. Actually, I would like to use my other. Does it hit me? Soul clock work. <laughs> I don't know. Restore balance. Okay. He gets okay. to roll again. But you take away the advantage. 
Ah, uh, that's fair. Hey, that's actually better. It's 19 on that one. You managed to hornswoggle um, Darius. Cool. And he... Stop him! I point to Drizzt. I, I look at Drizzt. Oh, that's cute. Dragon form. <laughs> <laughs> um, so FYI, in, in Drizzt lore, he's killed six dragons. <laughs> not, I, and you're not fully adulted yet. No, I am. Yeah, she's fully oh, adulted. Yeah, 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 she's full, Oh, yeah. I thought she was a young adult dragon. No, no, no I'm fully adult. Okay. Right. Yeah. Neat. Okay, you're you're in full dragon form. Yeah. I, missed, I, I step I step aside I step aside Mikhail, uh three arrows drawn. He's doing this. Okay. You can you can tell this man has fought a lot. And right now he's not standing normally on heels. No, he's standing right here. On the toes. Uh, on the toes. Nice. Like he's bouncing. He looks at you. Leaps! I uh, make a dex check. Okay. I was about to say I will shoot that dude. Dex. Uh, twenty-one. Twelve. You see a blade and then. Yeah, right there. All right. Well, I thought we were running in. I think we're trying to run. It's a little bit away. Okay. Take three bludgeon damage. Oh shit! Okay. Is uh, as that happens, try to not uh, try to launch the three arrows to knock him out of the air. Okay. Now I'm also going to draw my hand crossbow okay. and try to take a shot at him. Nineteen. Thunk. Really? Try to knock him out of the air. <laughs> <laughs> is, is he still in the air right now, like dropping? He's like Air Jordan right. Now. I will use Earthbind. Choose one creature you see within range. Yellow strips of magic energy loop around the creature. The target must succeed on a deck saving throw. If it does not, if it is, uh, it is bound, and it will be bound. Yeah, it, it is bound if he fails a strength strength saving throw. Is it strength or death? Strength. Death. Strength. Okay. Strength to break the uh, magical bind. Yeah. What's the DC say? The DC is. It's based on 12. Oh, okay. I take Nope. It. Uh, so I'm taking a shot with my hand crossbow. I got 15 on that. Oh. <laughs> it was my good cloak. You start to hear clang, 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 clang as yeah, a female tiefling that you don't recognize comes up in Therax's armor. Are we What's going on? Mm -hmm. okay. Hey guys. Do we notice immediately that they're in a big battle? Yeah, with this. There's a dragon form. Yes, generally a dragon. dragon form doesn't... Well, actually, I don't think we've actually, seen this. Yeah, no, we haven't. We've Wait. seen your wings and stuff. How yeah. damaged to the ship? Oh, oh my god. No, there's no damage to the ship at all. <coughs> Remember no, we're running outside, the outside of the ship. We're literally on oh. the side of the ship. What type of... Okay, oh, okay. I thought we were like... In the ship. Okay, what you <laughs> notice, it is reinforced... Studded leather? Yeah. With white fur right around the collar. Mm -hmm. Is there... Can I try to <laughs> bite the... You know how like kittens hold... The cats hold their kittens in their mouths? Mm -hmm. Can I try to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Is it wrong that I want this to succeed so bad? I kind of do too. This would be hilarious. <laughs> Roll anything. <laughs> Out of the air. <laughs> Would that be? No. It's specific. I want eleven. Heavy or medium metal armor. Seven. Yes. Forget it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you try to snap, well, it disappears. No. I can heat it. Ninja van. Uh, it has to be the main one. Okay. okay. He is, he's what if I miss? He's not. That the the yeah, guy, uh, the guy whole who's attacking the dragon right now is trying to kill Darius. <laughs> I would like hey, to use, I'd like to use command on him. Uh, yeah. He's gone. I thought right you were now. getting sized. Uh, no, I'm running up. Uh, I'm running up with my oversized armor and I'm holding on to it like this. Oh, uh, <laughs> there is a woman. That way, because it's something that we have to get all the things. So, 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 so,
Yeah. On the ground now? Is that what you said? He's on top of the ship. It's a level two that... Is he like right beside me? Because I'm still on the ship. Yeah. I thought, okay, we're not all the ship. Everybody else is off the ship. Yeah, no, yeah, we're still right, off yeah. the ship. I came up to okay. the underbelly. Okay, so you're on top of the ship, away from everybody else. Yeah, I'm like, huh. Do I notice him? No. Okay. Where did he go, guys? He's like standing right beside Wait, me. can we see him? We're not on the ship. Well, I'm like, I'm calling like to you guys. Tap, tap, tap on your shoulder. Hmm, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I pull up like this and I draw my weapon and my pants fall down. Is he distracted? I am. <laughs> I think at that point everybody is because it, we're, we're, it's, we're all it's, it's a female tiefling. <laughs> and meanwhile, Drist is going. Okay. Oh. I, uh, I try to seduce him. <laughs> I just like, um, let's that? just all calm down and uh, maybe we can figure something out. Seduce Persuasion? <laughs> Bend my ass a little bit. I mean, just, you know, wave your, wave your deadliest yeah. weapon. Roll. That's no yeah. longer there. You yeah. know, that deadliest weapon. He's a woman now. I don't like it. Nine nine. Uh. Huh? And he says, "Try harder next time, honey." <laughs> <laughs> Disappears. Yeah, they they disappear again. Or so yep. So. Damn. Here you go. Okay. I'm looking around. I'm oh, looking back around. in front of us. Sharp. Uh, I'm sharp. What the hell is that? So, since I can see him, I want to cast Bane on him. So he has to succeed in a charisma saving throw against mine of 17. Twist. I cast Speak with Animals. <laughs> You're gonna talk to the cat. Right? Yeah. You're gonna talk to the cat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this shit. is all bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're You're talking to the cat. Hit us as hard. The, hey, so the ring what is it? You got name? Because it carries a magic green that protects him. What's the air? That is a good name. He's a, a, he's a strong name. Hero. Thank you. Well, unless he tells me that. What we don't is know the name? Now. Yeah. Or I'm not just saying that. What? That's what I'm saying. I'm asking you to do it. Well, a long time ago. Very long time ago. I'm just sorting out him like a fly. He's like flying at me still. Mr. Darius was uh, the son of Loth, and simply because they, he was programmed to kill my master. A long time ago. And so my master is going to end this whole thing right off the bat. So that's why he's here. That uh, is not good. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah. Tell Darius to knock out this whole vendetta thing with Drist. I mean, Drist. I don't understand yeah. that. You and me both, buddy. I'm just here like, do you think if we ignore him, he'll just go away? Is that what you're saying? I mean, Darius. Darius. Darius is running towards Drist in full speed. I don't want two mosquitoes on me right now. Um, I'm going to try to instead grab. of launching my flame breath at Drist or at Drizix, I'm going to launch it in the direction of Darius without actually hitting Darius, basically cutting him off. Why are you doing that? To stop Darius from from confronting. Drizzix at the moment. And I also I want to try to grab Darius. No, I'm not, I don't know about this. I just want the fighting to stop. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just trying to, to grab him. I'm just trying to stop him in his tracks for a minute. Okay, roll it. That one, you kill. Uh, I'm guessing it'll be a dex check. So mm -hmm. 13. You made it. I did it. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to try cool. to grab Darius. <sighs> stop for a moment. What is your problem? What is your problem? And I'm yelling at him as he's trying to bat you. <laughs> Give me a perception check. I'll take it. I know, I can tell him. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah. 15. <laughs> you know this, Darius has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eyes. I just do this. Darius. <laughs> And they're all red and they look real mean. Listen to me for a moment. It goes back to normal, all eight eyes turn back to two. Uh, do we see that? Yeah. Alright, that's the second weirdest transformation I've seen today. 
We don't know his mom. Cat says you need to cut off the crap. Just picture of her. Yeah, we do. Just make sure you see that picture. You didn't tell us that was a mom. Meow. So. Meow. He says it is not worth it. Yeah. Stop. I agree with the cat. Yeah. You know what? The cat is talking the most sense. You know, since that's happening, I think I'm just gonna leave now. They they can handle this. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk back towards the ship. I'm just I'm done. Check check on their action. Yeah, I'm done. Wolf weird goes. I hope they're done fighting now. Me too. This is crap, man. I I walked a hundred miles just to see a fight. Over nothing. Would you like us some water? Yes, please. Eat <laughs> 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 our soup. You're tasty. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> that is all right. Like well, I guess that helps. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get proper thing clothes. <laughs> Zeal starts speaking to both Darius and Drizzt and Elvish. No, well, most of us understand that. <laughs> yeah. Or not Elvish, under, under dark, or under common, I mean, which is the language of the drow. And he tells them both, and he reminds them both of why the drow were fighting together and why the high elves accepted the drow as they were. Because, you know, they're brothers and we need to fight together and maybe we can use Drizzt to help us fight law. And then Darius says, you weren't programmed to kill this man, were you? I, I look at Drizzt, Drizzt, um, I would like to do a timeline check. Okay. Uh, 19. <laughs> okay. You're terrified of Darius. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. <laughs> The man swatted my uh, Azur and scorched right off these. He's like, motherfucker, stop. Go away. <laughs> okay, and number two, this guy was built to kill Drist so from the ground up. <clears throat> this is the only sole reason why Darius exists. So I see that in his history, like in the oh, time. Oh, yeah. I look at Darius and I go, if I was created to do what I was meant to, I would have killed him a while ago and return, this, return balance to the timeline. But I know. I am with you. So that just proves that we can go against our programming and do what's right. I mean, oh wait, I don't understand this. Never mind, it's an undercommon. Yeah. Do you know what they No. Drist. Plugs his swords. Yeah. That would have been helpful. You two are the only ones who would make any sense. <laughs> it was all under your cat. <laughs> he doesn't talk to me. He's got a lot to say. You would be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you need to teach me that. Only if you stop this fighting. I relent. Darius, can you tone it down too? We have a different situation. It got so bad that even the dwarves are coming out of the ship going. No, I'm just, come on, just, I, I'm just, just come on guys. Let, let, let's just let's just keep making our stuff. They're they're petrified that yeah. the, the troll is gonna come and kill them. Yeah, no, I'm I'm just it's okay. We got this. Okay. We got this. Let's let's go back in. Because I walked away. <laughs> Could you you know shrink again, please? No. I'll be right back. And I fly off to do some hunting. Okay. Eating is important. Well, no, I'm, eat, I'm not hunting for eating reasons. Dwarves need their payment, so. Oh. A more better way than an entire. Fuck. Much better. Crispy, whole. Cow. <laughs> Completely barbecued, like. Nice. Charred in With the mouth. sauce and everything. <laughs> So it's Chris. Meanwhile, Darius is just brooding and dressed. You want something to distract yourself? No. I'm gonna try anyway. Uh, Therax is a woman. <laughs> That's a 
that's enough. <laughs> I don't have anything else to add to that. Um, he's, I mean, he's not evil anymore. You mean she now? She, sorry. I, well, how about, how about this? Let's make it less confusing. We'll call them they. How's that? Why don't we just go with Therax for now? Therax is now a... Okay, deal. Thraxina? Sure. Do you want a different name now? I, I'm well, asking you because I'm actually around you now. Oh. What, what, do you, have, what do we call you now? I haven't decided yet. My name's Therax. So you still want to go by Therax? Yeah. Uh, Alright. I'm just one. So Making sure. Cool. That's, um... How did you... What did you do to him? I performed the ritual as I always do. It's the same. Uh, the decisions he made, she, Therax he, made, turned Therax into he, a woman. He gave me a choice. So I, that I this don't is know how it happened. Chose. Is Magnus we are on the ship? We're on the ship. They're not. Magnus just got back. Yeah. Zeal looks at Magnus and looks at him now and he goes, This makes a lot of sense now. No, oh, we're, we're on the ship. You guys are at. No, so we're, all, we're, we're on the ship. He no, was we're at the battlefield. Still. Okay, I don't yeah. think we went in. Yeah, so you guys we're still on the battlefield. Me, I, those who are on the ship. I fly back. Those who are on the ship. We're still on the side of the ship of the battle. Yeah, but I guess I'm confused because like, Magnus cow in my shoved mouth. his hammer in the thing and made the ship go. Like, this is kind no, of ship's no, going. No, no, the ship's been sitting there. He used that. No, it's like charred. It's like a huge, like, red color smell. Oh, gotcha. And I drop it on the deck. Thank you. And the then trying to yeah, like kind of show up in the little bit. That way they can, that way they can I fly out. in. Okay. Okay. And just before I hit the ship, I change to try to be like a superhero white like landing. That's gonna hurt your knees real bad. Can I break the fourth wall real quick? Sure. If I, Zeal, yeah, yeah, Zeal, yeah, yeah. Zeal goes. Oh, shit. He <laughs> Zeal looks over at um, Eve. Eve. She's gonna do it, she's gonna do the superhero landing, she's gonna do it, she's gonna Oh, that's really bad on the knees. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, that is bad on the knees. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, not, not completely bad. Nah, one second roll. Seven. It's better than that one tuck and roll. Boom. She just she kinda uh, like skipped uh, 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 yeah, a little bit. You landed a little super. You landed about as well as three, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's one round and then I can use my bonus action to get back. Drisk is making a fire for all of you guys. Where's he at? He's right there at the ship, and he's looking at you, going. Oh, so I found I got close. I found some clothes that will fit me. So I I hope you don't mind. I borrowed some from your room because there's no other female people on the ship. You could have borrowed from me. Yeah. Well, your your stuff's made for a for a dragonborn. So there's a it hole in the pan. Fit properly. Yeah. There's a big old hole for your tail to come out. I'm sorry, I gotta have comfort. Sorry, yeah, I, I, I completely understand. <sighs> and meanwhile, the brooding Darius is getting out of chairs, sits on, sits in the grass. Yep. Perfect. Uh, uh, yes. Well, wouldn't they be like what really was, small? Because I'm not gonna. What was myself. Joey's real name? <laughs> uh, my body's Also, kind so, of okay. is more life now. She's a little bit tighter in the shoulders, like with your okay. clothes. But you're a monk, so you there. Ex, why didn't you just go to stupid Eros and ask? For some clothes. Who's arrows? The person you guys know is Joey. Hey, <laughs> bitches! He's not there. Yeah, he's not there. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. I'm not good, good, good. Good. You're just here with Miles out of your own back. Left. He's the only exact words of the man. My character went to the first guy. place that he could think of that might have clothes that we could have. She, I'm just like, we just she, hear that Miles yeah, out. We just it enough. just echoes in. So. You see me just like trying to drag so this while well, I'm dragging this carcass like down. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Oh yes, I had to get my measurements done. So, so Drizzt gets on the other end. He he helps drag the thing. Thank you. The doors are locked. Not a problem, man. So you're nicer than you first showed us. Well, I'll put it to you this way. I go in with the understanding, I don't know you, I don't trust you, I'm going to fight you. No, I know that mentality. That sounds like a horrible mentality. Oh. To some, to some it's actually quite a compliment, actually. Well, being a drow, Darius will tell you it's not an easy life, it's a life of brutality, and you can live with it. Mm -hmm. That sounds familiar. Two forms of that, too. 
I mean, then again, the women do run defense. We lift that field. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Think of our hierarchy with the, when it comes to the male and female, and then flip it. I don't know all hierarchy. Yeah. She's only I been a dragon for a couple of months. I'm talking, she's a half elf, though. I never was among half elves. I was amongst an intercontinental army with Dress. a, a gnome. No human might be saying that. With a halfling and a tiefling as my captain and colorball. So you can, I've had a weird life. <laughs> you were both. What is she saying? I mean, see, I've just always been under I've just always been under attack by the other two uh, metal dragons. So that I do know about because I have had to help out in those campaigns, unfortunately. Well, I'm here to meet Darius for one certain purpose. Besides trying to kill him. No, he, he, over a hundred years he's been trying to stalk me and kill me. I figured, screw this, I'm going to find him and end this once and for all. What if he can't help it? I know he's been programmed by mummy. <laughs> well, well, you seem okay to me, as far as I'm aware, he seems okay to me. I'm gonna go find Darius. I have an idea, and he's gonna hate it. So, Zeal kind of walks over and, and looks to Drizzt and Galen, and he looks at Drizzt and he goes, Darius was programmed and built to destroy you, wasn't it? For the past hundred years, he's been trying to kill me, my friends, my companions, across the Icewind Dales, across the Isgard. Fill in the blank here. Artemis. Did he ever kill Artemis? I don't know. He, uh, Zeal looks to Mikhail. Mm. Drizzt here is a legend among many drow and many elf races. He's his swords twinkle when icing death there, as you've seen, are very powerful. And I took a I took a peek into Darius's life. And well, he was built to kill Drizzt. Walth is one of Drizzt's Walth is one of Drizzt's most formidable foes. Oh yeah. One that you never truly got to kill. Every chance he got she would run away or hide. Did the hunter ever come out during your fight with Wolf? Yeah, all the time. Mm -hmm. Blocking the passage all the time. It's like the story repeated itself. Trust me, your story is well known amongst those even that are not drow. You and I need to talk in private sometime. Cool. No offensive. Zillus. I have no offense, so I can't be offended. Okay, and with that, we're going to take a break. All right, we'll get hit. All right. So, yeah. um, hi, we're back. Yay. Woohoo! We are back. 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 Sorry. Okay, well, okay. I had to chill on the song. <laughs> I had a WCW moment. The powers of Eric Bischoff. Mm -hmm. Basically, Drist is enjoying his dinner. You guys are resting because of this lengthy ritual. Yeah. You're chilled out inside the engine room watching these dwarves work their happy little asses off, and they are yep. just that happy. I am meditating <laughs> around him because I don't sleep, okay. but they're meditating, almost praying. I'm probably eating at the same table as Mikhail as we're just consuming raw meat. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Up. Have we all yeah. met? <laughs> mm hmm. Have I seen him? Her. 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 This is him. so difficult. <laughs> you can refer to me as, uh, as her now. So, I'm like, hey, Sean. Um, well, as you notice, some things have happened. So, but I feel a lot more comfortable now. So, here's your tinkle. Oh, yeah, this what? is everybody what else's did? first interaction with their axes of wood. <laughs> yeah. What did you do, do to him? This We're not there. We're down in the engine room. Oh. Yeah. That's so we're just eating that while you're ready at lunch. Yes, today, I it's me. Yes. Last time I saw it was God's man. green earth happened. I agree with the... Uh, uh, I, I, I guess the ritual that good thing to did on him turned him into a her. 
Yep. What? Darius? What? What? Uh, no, no this this is is you guys Darius. Yeah. yeah. Just oh, consider it. Where's Darius? <laughs> Darius walks out. Hey, Darius. Drist is like. I put my hand on his shoulder, just like easy. Easy girl. <laughs> Not like that, just like I know, I know, I'm sorry. It's just what I imagined in my head at the very first. Easy now. <laughs> Darius calm, calmly sits down and turns to you and says, What the hell happened? At least we all have common ground. Uh, <laughs> <don't. laughs> no? All of us, literally. Are you right right there? What? <laughs> Anyways. He yeah. technically ran out in a, in, a, in a hurry before I guess everything was done. Yeah. Well, the spell was uh, supposed to clear me of uh, options and impurities and uh, kind of uh, open me up to have a possibility of choosing which path that I wanted in my life. It, uh, and it took away your genitalia too. <laughs> well, actually, I've checked that already and it didn't take it away, it switched it. Oh no. Well, it's actually pretty comfortable, so I can sit in smaller chairs now. That, yes, Therax used to be a man. I've been brought back from the dead. Yep. And I can apparently change people's gender. I didn't say anything. Well, we don't know if that was purely just... Well, I'm glad that you were able to be uh, a little bit more comfortable in your own skin, Therax. Actually, it's kind of We still never thought that... We still call you Therax, right? I know the feeling. Uh, yeah, that's my name. Uh, I'm still Therax, you guys. Well, if you ever change your if you ever change your name to something else, please let us know. Yeah, uh, of course I'll try not to change too many things up for you guys, but mm -hmm. I may change my name later just to make it more comfortable for you guys to address me and follow. Oh no, well, don't, don't change it on account. Just on us. Just change it if you uh, want to change it. Yeah, just be you. Yeah. Well, Wasn't I that appreciate the whole that, guys. Wasn't the whole anyway? Yeah, so uh, like I said, I appreciate that, you guys. And you need the nervous to go on to get your armor read? Uh, I already did, actually, and it was actually kind of, uh, they, they were a little uncomfortable <laughs> when I, I'm not used to it, so I went in there without my clothes on like I did the first time. Well, let me get a hold of Joey, says Darius. Okay. Honestly, thank the gods. So, but uh, <laughs> I am measured up now. So they said that they got some really great armor coming for me. So it's awesome. Where did the other two guys? Where did they go? Uh, the, the ones who performed the ritual are. Yeah, I do believe we're just resting. I mean, they were in there for an hour from what the crew told me. So. All right. Well, I'm all awesome. I'm all fed up and everything, but I've got a meeting to go to, you guys. So I'm still gonna try and you know keep going along with that. Are you gonna go Bull and Magnus? No, no. I saw Magnus on my way to uh to going and getting my armor resized. So uh yeah, Magnus. Is Are nice. you going to your nice uh, what you call it an AA meeting? Yes. Oh, uh, it's I my, uh, I forgot. It's been a while since you one of those. Well, no, actually, uh, the entire time that we were uh, on this trip here, I've been having them uh, in the evenings after we had meals. Oh, so that's I invited why I you. you. Drist, Drist, is Drist is going. Oh, I thought you were not going. Oh, well, I mean, you're welcome to come to one if you it's like. something it, with alcohol? It's a support anonymous? group for people who do not wish to drink alcohol anymore. I thought they yeah. called those the ass haulers anonymous. Oh, well. Okay. Rumi, <laughs> please. I don't know. You, you notice, you you notice for the first time, Darius uh, and Drist laughing. Where I come from, everyone's... And it's from. creepy. Oh, ah, well. Hey, it's all right. I mean, you know, yeah, some some great. people like to go, yeah. and some people like to sit in the pool and be drunk like soup. I so don't. Whatever think, gets you off. I don't even think I can get drunk anymore ever since the dragon thing. It just oh, freezes out. We actually well, can. We it, can. It just does. Takes, it just take a lot. It takes a lot. Okay. Oh, I want to do have that. coffee, so I mean that might give you a little buzz. So I you're feel welcome like to come. If you gave coffee yeah. to the other form, that would be a disaster on a whole <laughs> different level. Uh, well, let's well, like out. I said, so I'm glad everybody was, you know, was supporting me on this. So I'm gonna go to my meeting. Oh, no. Roll your wisdom. Oh, it's not me. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> down you're sleeping on the bass. I'm just rolling wisdom. Great. Which is your form of yeah. Me? Oh. Yeah, well, you, I actually thought he pointed at you, okay? I, I don't know who. Everybody? All of us? No. 
So wait, is it everybody or is it me? Just you. you. Okay. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, I look up and he's going to wait me and he's like, and then I see, he goes like anyway. this. So, very ominously. That would be a 10. You feel something gnawing in the back of your eye. The robotic or the... The elf? robotic one. Oh, no, well, no, no. So you guys actually we pull, the, no, we pull the eye out and there is like... Wires. No, not wires. It is like a, a fleshy material. Oh. It's like a, a I'm, muscle I'm tissue. Okay, okay. And it comes out, it comes okay. out like this. Mm -hmm. And it's about You're that welcome. long. And I see a spider. That's what might solve the problem. Did I get it? It, it's on the... All of a sudden you just see him go, Oh yeah, I got it. The uh, one time I don't want to eat a spider. Yeah, let's uh, not do that. Drist. Throws a dagger, hits the spider out of your hand, goes into a tree. Tree? Nice shot. Mm. In the landing bay. He got it out the window. Zeal's face, oh. Zeal's face actually becomes like really bright and all of a sudden he kind of falls back, sitting on the bench, or sitting on this bench he just falls back and through a portal into Mechanus. So he falls he back. He yeeted himself back to his domain. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Pulls the dagger out of the tree with the spider at the end of it saying, yeah, we were listened to. Great. Yeah, again, you and I need to talk in private later. Quick question, what does Zeal see as he arrives in Mechanus? Because the only way that spider could have got inside him was through Mechanus, so... What does... How thick? Like, are we talking like shalom layer thick? Thick! <laughs> yeah, we're talking Australia in the uh, springtime thick. Spring thick. <laughs> that thick. So Ooh. just spiders everywhere. Mm -hmm. spiders. Zeal, Zeal drops to his knees and he starts to kind of shake and, and get mad. And he's trying to figure out why this is happening. He stands up and his staff appears and he slams it on the ground and he walks through the portal back to them and he looks to the group and he says, Mechanist is no more. As soon as you walk out, you hear this. <laughs> So then how are you still living? You said if Mechanus dies, you die. Uh, that's the Allspark. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> the so, <laughs> okay. so you know how Earth takes this art is transformation. Oh, I mean, does I Zarek still I know, there's <laughs> there's <laughs> still has all his memories he's so changed. He, all you gotta see is he'll pull this chest piece, this bat almost, it looks almost like a crystal. And it's very, very dim. In fact, it's dimmer than what you've seen as so Therax. Basically, that is your life force. That explains why I shut down earlier. How much time do you have left on that? For once in my life, time is not on my side. Um, okay. Um, and he puts it back in his chest and... Darius and Drist begin to talk and draw. They head back to the ship. Excuse me. Oh, bless you. You're excused, you know. They begin to talk conversely about how to kill money. While they're talking, I'm going to be writing a letter back to the kingdom. It's finding this. <laughs> This, why this is it, this situation. Why don't you just walk to the emissary? Oh, I'm yeah, the writing it to take to the emissary to have them send it back. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. everyone can be informed. Fair enough. I'm just going to let like three oh. copies, four, yeah, <laughs> there's five, just. There were eight people at my meeting. Uh, actually, four of them were dwarves from the, uh, from the situation. Well, all right. So I kind of talked them into coming because with everything that happened, it would be a good idea for them to probably drink and get themselves out of control. So with all the stress they've been under. Okay. Well, you guys make a dress now. He's definitely different than I originally thought he was. 
Mm -hmm. I figured he was the one that, uh, the reason why they were fighting, not the other way around. That's kind of what I figured too. I figured Jolton. And then you hear, no, no, no! Never mind. <sighs> I'm just going to look over and then just yell, don't you dare start fighting again and just continue running. No, they're running. just having what is a near lover spat. I, I do not know what I say. Are you two over there? Mm -hmm. we're out. How long have we been out so far? So far, a half hour. Oh, we still got a long time. Yeah. All right. You conducted a ritual. Yeah, no, we're beat. Yeah, no. A major ritual. Yeah, it sapped everything out of us. Yeah. After my meeting, and then we went to fight in their room. So, okay. Like, After I'm done, my okay, wife's on the door to the empty seat. Yeah, we're not there. We're not there. We're, we're, we're with the drawers. drawers. Our rooms are empty. Where, where, where are you guys right now taking your food from the mess hall? Okay, the dwarves are almost completed with what you are doing. Ooh, sweet. But they have to redo yours. Yeah. So well, I caught them pretty early, so hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. Because The dwarves are looking at you going, still confused. So, do they have any parts that I can like look at, you know? Like any parts of my I can get I can drag people's genders at will. No, like like you said. <laughs> You've done this two other times and it didn't happen. Then I join and it suddenly changes. Oops! <laughs> Together we can change. I am the destroyer, one. the changer of your The cat game. is going. That's not good. What's not good? <clears throat> what is it not good? <laughs> this is called a super spider. It just senses everything and telepathically reports it back to Loth. What does the cat say to you? Besides that. He is a, speaking of a special kind of a spider that communicates with the mind back to Loth. So that's what that spider was. Figures there'd be different kinds, I guess. Well, I mean, if Loth is creating them. True. Hmm. Yeah, it's evil. Let me tell you that. He says he's not good. So basically, we need to figure out a way to stop the spiders from coming. But it seems like it, she's got ways to manipulate them, even through time. Which is alarming. Hmm. What's your class? Sorcerer. Well. Uh, clockwork soul sorcerer. Okay. Ranger. Bard. 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 Monk. Monk. Okay. I don't like this. Half horse bard, does that matter? I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Matt. No one is out. Pardon me, I'm just about ready to. He's thinking about how he wants to run. He's about to kill everybody. No. He's about to <laughs> the whole world is <laughs> like. <laughs> no. To be good. Rocks fall and kill the party. The end. <laughs> Ship crashes. Ship stops severing. Crashes. Okay. So I can't right now, but. Okay. <clears throat> Zeal. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you can point like that. I'm not sure which one of us you're pointing at. It's kind of Zeal weird. has this form of telepathy. So, Clockwork Man. <laughs> Enjoy my little preview of the universe to come. <laughs> Actually, what you all see now is Zeal's eye is, it, when he's not fighting, it's blue, but it is now a black. It is, like, black as black can be. Zeal, everything okay? Well, Zeal is speaking to me. What is she saying? Kill the witch. She's <laughs> telling me, poking at me. For what she did to the mechanism. Yeah. 
He looks over, uh, or Drizzt and Darius like to where that we can be, they can see us. Yeah. He looks over to them. She's goading me and poking at me. He holds up his hand as a, almost like a mirror appears. So they could all see what Mechanist looks like, and it's covered. I mean, as as Patrick said, it is like Australia Spring. I'm there's sorry, there's 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 sorry. <laughs> Boston or Travis. Austin. Austin. Sorry. Who the fuck is Austin? Damn, cheating on me. Jesus Christ. But no. Um, My character gender and I thought his name. As um, it's <laughs> um, I all he kind of goes like this and throws out to the group, almost like a not a holograph, but it's a mirror to mechanist and it's covered in spiders and you and you can clearly see that they are wolf spiders dressed is just pulling his scimitar slowly i go over to him clap my hands on his shoulder squeeze it's like we need to talk now okay. i look at before they walk off i look at drist we have to stop i look at drist and darius we have to stop her. If Mechanus falls, she will be able to control time and space. And that bodes well for no one. And as the last Chrono Keeper, I cannot let that happen. She knows if she kills Mechanus, she kills me. True. And part of my programming is to pass on my knowledge of Chronomancy. And if only one spell ability, or only one spell user is chosen, it has to be lost. She can force me to do it. She has control of Magnus. Kill him. Kill the witch. <laughs> Solves all our problems. Uh huh. You can't Not be tired if you're dead. <laughs> can't be a problem if you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not my buddy. I'm not there. My advice would have been to lay down. Not my buddy. No. <laughs> And for the first time <coughs> since those of you that have known Zeal for a while, like not Umi, but Mikhail and Rara, from his human eye, you actually see, his, no, not just like mm -hmm. actual teeth oil streaming down his face. Oil. <laughs> While well, this is going on, Drist and Mikhail. Mikhail. So Mikhail like kind of looks around and he just shuts the door and she just leans on the back of it. And she's very, she's prone, and she's weirdly kind of like, not vulnerable looking, but her face is like, sincere, honest. Yeah, the group doesn't know this. Darius does, because this was the only way we could figure out how to possibly find a weakness, but you're looking at a double agent right now. I, Great. Oh, by, by the way, don't mind my half brother. He's an ass. Anyway. Half of what? That's a new development. Okay, Malice is my mother. Okay. In turn, she too is the daughter of our goddess. Okay. My former goddess, that is. Mm -hmm. Well, long story short, he was created just because Loth had, you know. Anyway, we're related. Uh, that makes things even juicier. Wonderful. But he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that? No. Nope. Great. No other things that I know that I shouldn't know, and those are really, well, she can't look into my mind, but I can contact her directly, so. None of the group knows this. You're the only person who has privy to this information other than Darius. I'm not evil. I hate spiders. I actually have an irrational fear of them, which I know. I just never like them, ever. But you can see how desperate I am to get this situation fixed that I would even take a deal like that to begin with. Trust me, I would love nothing more than to shove my arm straight through her chest, rip out her heart, and eat it in front of her as she dies. That's an image. But until we can figure out a way to find her weakness, I can't do that. Well, there's only one weakness about the bitch. What's that? Power. I already know that because I already offered to die. 
Those are the two that we have. Have, technically. Okay. I just hate seeing my friends suffer and while this bitch continues to laugh and I want to do something so badly that I can't. You're not going to like what I propose. I haven't liked anything the group has done all day, hit me. My bad. Next. You're right ahead. I already made a deal with the devil to sell out my soul, so... Let's invade Manzio Baranza. Who the what now? <laughs> <laughs> Manzio Baranza, the capital city of the Drow Nation. Oh, that's gonna go over well. Oh, that's gonna go over so well. And your logic? It lives there. Lois lives there? Yeah. Because I would love nothing more to end this right now. But the problem is, I have a way of doing doing things about it. My half brother does things. And we came here to prevent a war between the Norse and the Drow. I uh, think that's now a little impossibility. <laughs> But we can use that impossibility. Let's hear it. If we can manipulate them and... The no or the draw. The draw. Be the group. Be the one. Okay. As long as we can yes. pro promote them into attacking one another, we can sneak in. I don't know how well they'll survive with the group, I can, since I have to come clean. But I think some of them have suspected for a while. I think that's why I held on left. You hear drums. Great. Lots of drums. I like the window. Across the evening sky, nice and cold, you see Valkyrie. Ooh, lovely. Mm. By the thousands. Uh, oh, I, think, I think we've always done time. <laughs> You also notice a windmare running across the air. I have one. Sorry. Decked out in gold, purple, and white. Mm. This one is balder. I know. That might actually be what we were looking for. <laughs> Great. And all of a sudden, here comes flying by is the mighty Magus. Magnus. Mm -hmm. okay. And of course, riding behind them is the legions of Yisgard. I think we're a little late, don't you think? I think so, but I think all mm -hmm. situations can be salvaged. We need to act quickly, though. Yeah. I'm running to the top deck as I hear the drums. Okay. You've noticed machines of war like you've never seen before. You also see various, what appears to be tanks that are flying. We're not prepared. And Darius looks at this and goes, I want four. <laughs> Darius, this isn't, the, this isn't the time to admire. There's only one. Do I see it? Hey, do I see it? Oh, yeah. Have I made it to the NC yet? Yeah, but you notice something. The capital city is vacated. Only the palace guard is only there. I'm still going to attempt to go to the Kawainian Embassy Center, see if there's anyone left. 
Lithuanian embassy is closed shut. <laughs> Along with all the other ones. <laughs> embassy closed, embassy closed, embassy closed, embassy closed, embassy closed. Out to lunch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to like slide one layer under your door to like roll help, help us please. <laughs> help. I need some butter. Thirteen. Help. Gets a little crumbled. <laughs> you know, it's a little crumbled, but you managed to get it through. No. Fifteen. No, that's that's me in my head all day. This is your fancy. Yeah. You did this. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. When you're the one that started it. This is my fault. I can't blame me. This is you blame yourself it. all the time. It is my fault. No. You crumbled it, but it got through. You can crumble a little bit, just a little rough on the edges, then I'm just going to put the other four or so, okay. just somewhere, then I'm just going to head back to the ship. Oh yeah, I'm you're gonna... not there. <laughs> no, yeah. no, you know this, the Asgardian military on the ground. All decked out in plate mail. All decked out in... What appears to be Uru weapons. Oh. Nice. Please tell me they're not here for us. Yeah. And you notice across the skies, you notice Viking boats moving at a very fast speed across the skies. Like the long boats. Uh, I'm going to move a little Are we well, still asleep for all this? Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, fuck, we were tired. <laughs> yeah. I know mean, yeah. ritual. Yeah, no, I'm just checking. I don't know. There's a lot of noise going on. Well, to be honest, I, I'm going to say that ritual. After that, that is the tired going to out, so. Awesome. I'm going to okay, so start running back to the us ship. To go against the spiders. <laughs> you know, as Magnus comes down right to your ship. Awesome. Magnus. What is going on? on? We're at war. Hail hey, Magnus. You. The Drone Nation. We were too late. Mm -hmm. What happened to invoke this? Besides what has been happening? All of a sudden our magics begin to fail. This has been happening everywhere. Wait, uh, everybody's magics? Everywhere. So you're not the only one, Zeal. Zeal's not with you guys. Right. He's the the field where you guys were at. He is still like he's kind of on his knees, just like looking over the field and the prairie and stuff. Either way, we're going to war. Well, Darius. Uh, Magnus takes off. <laughs> well, Darius. Looks like we need to get ready. Yeah. We're either fighting with them or we're fighting against them. I want to go over to Zeal. I have an idea. What's your idea? Oh, back right there. <laughs> Our plan is to be right in the middle. I like this plan. Yeah. And here's how we're going to do it. And with that, we're going to continue next week. We'll be Jess. I want to go over to Zeal and be like, let's go get you your new parts, buddy. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you have likes, comments, do that lovely YouTube thing and just hit like and subscribe. And please come enjoy yourself at the friendly local gamers cave in beautiful Franklin, Indiana. And with that, this is your friendly neighborhood dungeon master, John, bidding you. Okay. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Bye.